guys, what's up? Matt here, and I just got back from a long and shitty day. Uh, I did terrible on my tests today in school, and then I had a track meet, and uh, that was brutal. So I figured I'd release some stress by playing not only a new map, but some zombies. That didn't make any sense. New zombies map called The Dead. And uh, this is going to be basically a strategy video, although I've only played about six or seven matches. A couple solo, a couple uh, two-player, and a couple three-player. But um, I've learned a couple things quickly, and I guess I can give you guys some tips if you guys haven't played it yet. If you guys are on PSN, you guys can get a quick look at it, since I'm playing this on Xbox. And, uh, yeah. So to start off, I don't know if you saw over there before, but there's water. You start off in this little area. It's, like, cold, clearly. There's snow. Um, the main thing I want to start pointing out is that there's a guy, and I don't know what his name is or what he, what he, what his purpose is, but all I know is he's got this light, this broken light, and it's a blue light, and he just like walks around and tries to attack you, and when he hits you, if you get too close to him, he'll swipe you with it, and uh, it's like a wonder waffle. If you ever, if you ever shot yourself with a wonder waffle back in Doris, you know that it's like this blue lightning thing that that damages your health, and that's basically what he does to you. But I figured out that if you take several hits from that thing you still don't die so I don't really know what the purpose of it is but I know if you shoot him he chases you and all of your teammates and it like never ends sometimes it ends if you die or if, if, if you uh... if you get like down if you get downed by a zombie or something but uh... he just keeps continuing to chase you he turns into a zombie as you can see he's a human to begin with he's like some old man he's got headphones around him I don't really know if you guys know what the heck that's all about. You guys can leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate it because I am I don't understand that. But it's definitely definitely going to be a major change, a major player in the zombies this map anyway. Because um, I'm actually just finding out now from Twitter and other stuff that if you shoot the the guy with the light, if you shoot his light bulb, he seems to calm down a little bit. And if you kill him with a pack of punched VR11, that gun that I have not found yet. Um, I know some people have gotten it already, but I haven't found it yet. If you shoot him with that pack-a-punched, apparently he dies and goes back into the river where he started, and you get a free perk. So that's that. I can't show you guys how to do it yet. You guys can probably look it up. I'll try to get that as soon as possible. But uh, you guys all know how hard that's going to be. All right, guys. I forgot to touch on that. If you stay in the water too long, you freeze. You can start seeing icicles around your screen. You might be able to see them here. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think you saw it. But, uh... You, if you stay in the water too long, you freeze, and that's that goes to the same things. That there you go. There's the icicles. So uh, you get you, you get like all locked up. You get all tight. You can't really move. And I'm assuming you'll die if you stay in there too long. So that's a good way to counter uh, people just chilling in the water. You're also one slower in the water, which is to be expected. Um, as for strategy so far, there's two there's two or three different ways you can go from this main place. You're down. You're down basically in a valley, and there's a bunch of shipwrecks, a bunch of uh, broken down ships. And there's like this lighthouse thing. So one way you can go is you can go up here, uh, yeah, right up here. You open up that, that little boat thing, and it takes you up to the lighthouse. And the lighthouse has swivel stairs. You can go upstairs, downstairs. I know if you go downstairs, it's pretty much just windows, so it's, you're kind of trapped. So I wouldn't recommend that because this guy, there he goes. I don't know what I did. I forget what I did to get him mad, but all he does is chase you. And you get nervous because you think you're going to die. He doesn't really kill you unless he traps you into a corner. But it's extremely annoying to have this giant zombie running after you. And you have to try to kill the other zombies while you're at it. So I guess, see, I got down again right there because I'm just, I just suck at this right now. Um, besides the lighthouse, you can also go up to the shipwreck, and that is where you find the mystery box and the power, how to turn on the power, which is going to be extremely important in getting perks and stuff like that. And if you guys want to see that, leave an annotation right now. I already made a video on that, how to do that. So you can guys go, you can go check that out. Also want to point out real quick, if you guys can give us a like real quick, it takes two seconds, double click like, I'd really appreciate it if this helps you guys out at all. Um, it helps my it helps my channel out a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. I love it when you guys like me. Feel wanted. Um, anyway, so this is basically pointing out uh, my strategy. What I think best to do in the beginning is stay here as long as you can. Uh, I've been able to stay here around five or six so far, and then I go up to the ship where I actually uh, I died because I was trying to get a, a gun from the mystery box the guy the zombie spawned right under me and I'm done and I didn't have quick revive because I'm an idiot and forgot to buy it before I went up there that's another thing the zombies they just they're coming from everywhere and that's makes it even harder because they can spawn literally right behind you and you are done you have no idea and um, and I already touched on it, this guy being in the way, but the, the the real problem with him being there, the real difficulty, I guess, is when you're trying to shoot zombies that are lined up in a rape train, as Syndicate would say, 
which is true. Um, he can get in the way. Oh, here comes my dad. Hey. He can get in the way, and if you shoot him, he gets all mad and chases you, so that's a problem. Um, although it's harder in the beginning, it's like hard now, and it's annoying to have that guy there, I think it's going to be a lot more difficult to get to higher rounds, and that'll make it more fun and make it last longer. So Treyarch did a good job on that. Uh, I'm going to end this commentary now, guys. I'm going to go keep playing some more, and uh, give it a like, subscribe. Peace.